Get ready because Capcom's sequel is dropping soon and it's packed with improvements to make the gameplay even better. In this dark fantasy game, you're on a mission to get back your stolen heart from a sneaky dragon. Just like in the previous game, and it's not gonna be easy task, you'll be facing off against massive giants, creepy undead, hordes of undead, weird golems and even the legendary Medusa herself, among many other enemies. Your choices are gonna be key in shaping your journey, from building your crew to picking your character vocation, or even choosing how you interact with certain NPCs, everything you decide will affect how your adventure unfolds. And let me tell you, the game setup is no joke, it's complex and you never know what unexpected challenges it's gonna throw at you. We'll explore different parts like combat, character types, missions and lots of other cool stuff the game has to offer. And make sure to keep watching because we'll find out even more in the days ahead. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and hit the like button if you enjoyed this video at any point and let's dive right in. In Dragon's Dogma 2 there's a total of 10 vocations to pick from. At the start, 4 vocations are immediately available to you. Fighter, Archer, Thief and Mage, with the remaining 6 being unlocked further down the line. As you progress, advanced vocations become available, offering new tactics and skills to spice up your gameplay. However, these later vocations aren't just straight upgrades in firepower, they are more about providing alternative strategies. Reflecting on the legacy of the first Dragon's Dogma, it's entirely feasible to stick with one of the starting vocations from beginning to end. Yet, exploring different vocations can give you a strategic advantage in various scenarios and against certain foes. The fighter class makes a comeback in the latest installment, exhibiting a striking resemblance to its predecessor in both combat mechanics and abilities, as evident from the gameplay footage unveiled so far. Armed with the sword in one hand and a shield in the other, this class offers a visually impressive gameplay experience, though it may not cater to those seeking a more fluid combat style. Nonetheless, its proficiency in dealing huge damage and executing well-timed parries to deflect attacks back presents undeniable advantages. The fighter class excels in dealing significant damage, making it a formidable force on the battlefield. It also comes with some solid defensive capabilities, with a shield at their disposal, fighters can withstand enemy assaults and protect themselves effectively. Skilled players can master the art of parrying, allowing them to reflect enemy attacks back and turn the tide of battles in their favor. Regarding the drawbacks, it's widely acknowledged that fighters face difficulties when confronted with situations demanding ranged or magical attacks, thereby constraining their effectiveness in encounters involving flying enemies or rapid movement due to their limited agility. Additionally, mastering the timing and execution of parries can pose a significant challenge for those unfamiliar with the mechanics, presenting a steep learning curve. Next up we have the Thief, which happens to be my favorite starting class up this point. Its combat system is visually attractive, offering fluid and fast-paced action with a remarkable attack speed. Despite dealing less damage, the high attack rate more than makes up for it, and the capability to swiftly maneuver in and out of the enemy's striking range makes the Thief an excellent melee assassin when played skillfully, particularly with the added advantage of a perfect parry counterattack that can swiftly dispatch foes. In addition to its proficiency in climbing enemies and inflicting severe damage, the Thief can also attach explosives to its targets, causing stun and damage upon detonation. This of course will open an attacking window for you and your teammates to inflict severe damage to the target, so if you're into causing chaos, this vocation is definitely for you. The Archer proves to be a valuable class for enthusiasts of long-ranged combat, particularly excelling in providing support to teammates, especially against flying foes. Moreover, it serves well in creating opportunities or exploiting weaknesses, enabling teammates to capitalize on openings and deliver huge damage to an incapacitated foe. While not without its vulnerabilities, particularly when not positioned strategically, it remains a viable choice for those who enjoy physical long-range damage classes. Finally, we come to the mage, who not only serves as an extra source of damage, but also assumes the role of the primary healer, with additional utility utility provided through beneficial team buffs such as weapon enhancements. However, it's worth noting that this class is particularly susceptible to damage and lacks defensive capabilities, primarily due to the extended casting times of spells as they are leveled up. We have 6 more vocations to discuss but we'll leave that for our upcoming videos and we know that we can unlock at least some of them through side quests. However, it's unclear if all of them will be accessible in the same way. As we continue playing the game, we'll find out more in the upcoming days, I'll be sure to include it in my guide videos. Regarding quests, exploration and interaction within the world, 
The game introduces unique mechanics where almost every action carries consequences, either positive or negative. If the relationship system in the first Dragon's Dogma seemed shallow, this game undoubtedly brings significant changes to the table. First of all, you won't find any clear indicators or markers on the map guiding you directly to the location. Instead, discovering it requires a blend of attentive conversations with random NPCs and sudden remarks from your teammates. These remarks often serve as valuable hints, directing you towards your destination or suggesting actions like destroying obstacles, blocking your path. Additionally, they might even highlight prime locations for gathering specific resources. Your actions in the game can have significant consequences, even altering the outcome of quests dramatically. In a preview, IGN described a seemingly typical quest where an individual asked to search for their lost son, presumed taken by wolves. The player was tasked with locating the boy, which they eventually did. However, the quest took an unexpected turn in IGN's second preview. It was revealed that due to delaying actions, they discovered the boy's remains in a cave. This realistic consequence added depth for the quest's narrative. While not all quests may unfold in this manner, it appears that many NPCs have tasks to offer upon entering a new town. It is advisable to prioritize urgent-sounding quests, especially considering developers have hinted at the potential for players' actions to affect relationships with NPCs. In the example provided, it's conceivable that the father would be displeased by the outcome and therefore you might miss out on some good rewards. Additionally, there's a mysterious disease known as Dragon's Plague that can affect your pawns, as revealed in a PlayStation blog post. Initially, this condition may enhance their abilities and courage, but rumors suggest that later stages of the disease can lead to catastrophic consequences. Therefore, it's important to closely monitor your party members for any unusual behavior, so paying attention to the dialogues is vital to avoid missing out on awesome rewards and opportunities. If you are excited to dive into the action, the game's character creator awaits your download, offering extensive customization options across all gaming platforms. With the inclusion of the Beast Race, your creative possibilities expand even further. Don't hesitate to spend some quality time in this character creator, it's a strategic move that will allow you to jump straight into the gameplay on launch day. What's more, the community has already begun crafting incredible characters and there's a chance these creations could become recruitable pawns in your game, adding an extra layer of excitement. In the Dragon's Dogma 2 character creator, players have the opportunity to shape both their protagonist and main pawns. Your character data can easily be transferred to the full game, with the ability to create up to 5 horizon and 5 pounds. Now is the perfect time to prepare for the adventure that lies ahead. Furthermore, keep an eye out for pawns created by specific players, as some will be selected as official pawns. You'll have the chance to enlist up to two of these chosen pawns to accompany you on your journey. Dragon's Dogma 2 has an open world reportedly four times larger than its predecessor. According to IGN, even a brief exploration reveals a vast landscape filled with thrilling encounters, ensuring you're never either for too long. Capcom aimed to immerse players in the journey by limiting fast travel options, similar to the first game. You were restricted to traveling between discovered poor crystals, each journey demanding the use of a precious fairy stone. While this encourages exploration, it can become frustrating as it constrains your movement and you need a meticulous planning before leaving any area. You can pick a card to traverse the terrain, with limited control over your destination and the continuous threat of ambushes by various beasts, if you prefer a more immersive experience, traveling on foot is the way to go, where you'll truly feel the weight of every step you take, especially with the introduction of Lost Gauge Held Restoration mechanic. In Dragon's Dogma 2, healing isn't as straightforward as it was in the first game. Each hit diminishes a portion of your maximum health, requiring you to seek out campfires or inns to restore it. However, resting at the campfire not only replenishes your health, but also allows you to cook meat for additional buffs, adding a strategic layer to your survival. Ultimately, the game's traversal mechanics offer a mix of excitement and challenge, while the limitation on fast travel may frustrate some players, and even me, the unpredictable ambushes keep the journey engaging and emphasizes the importance of survival skills. And that wraps it up, we've only scratched the surface of the game mechanics, be sure to stay tuned to the channel for more content in the days and weeks ahead, because we will have a lot of guide videos coming out. Also let me know in the comment section down below what excites you about this game and why. Thanks for watching, have a fantastic day and until next time.